Hey everyone, it's Andrew, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with smart lists. What are they, how you can use them, and what's the best part about using these within the high-level CRM? Let's dive right in. Now, we all know the contact screen within the high-level CRM over here on the left-hand side within our sub-accounts, but what's really cool about the contact manager within high-level is smart lists. Now, smart lists are a way for us to see not just an organized list of our clients, but it allows us to filter them. It allows us to see specific sets of data and also save specific lists of our customers, little subsets of our customer base in order for us to better organize and better manage our contacts within the CRM. So under contacts, we have lots of different tabs, but we're gonna be only managing is smart lists and manage smart lists. Luckily, smart lists is the default tab for contacts, but let me walk you through some of the awesome features of smart lists specifically. One being the columns feature. This is where we can select which columns we want to actually be showing within the contact list itself. So for example, this one is showing name, it's showing D&D, phone, email, assigned, and tags, as well as a couple of others but we can adjust these columns in order to see specific sets of data. Maybe let's say we don't wanna be seeing the phone numbers for this set. We can uncheck that and then we'll only see whatever other sets of data we have checked. Additionally, we also have the ability for filters. So filters are a really exciting way to actually manage and obviously filter our contacts to see specific sets of data. So if we click more filters on the right hand side, then we can filter from lots of different points of data. We can choose to view things like the business name. If the business name is X or is not X or is empty or is not empty, we can do things like the company name, email. So for example, let's have a use case where we wanna see all of our contacts that do have an email. So let's say email is not empty. We can do that, click apply. And then we will now see all of our contacts within the CRM that have an email associated with them. This is a really easy way for us to immediately get access to all the contacts that we can shoot out emails to rather than just selecting all the contacts, sending an email, and then it failing on the ones that don't have an email. So for this case, let's say I'm about to run an email campaign and I want to actually send an email to all these people. What we can do here is under filters, since we've already added this folder, now we're going to save this as a smart list. We can do this, we can give it a name for email not empty. And then once we click save, we'll have access to view this list specifically whenever we want. So as you can see here under contacts and smart lists, we can see email not empty. Here is our list right here. And if we go back to all, then we'll see all of our records. And we can go back to email not empty whenever without having to actually add that filter every single time. Let's do one more using these filters because they're really exciting. Let's go ahead and say we're going to be sending out postcards to some of our clients. Let's go ahead and say address is not empty. Then we're going to click apply. And we'll see we've got these three clients that we can send out a postcard to because they've got addresses. And we'll go ahead and save the smart list as a postcards list. Then once we do that, we can view that list whenever we want. We can actually manage this list. So let's say we want to send out postcards. We can select all of them, send it using any of the actions within the contact manager. Same thing for the email not empty. So rather than selecting lots of people, having to filter every time, we can access that list whenever we need to. Also under manage smart lists under this screen, we can see our different smart lists right here. We can see their order. So for example, we have this order of sample file, then email not empty, then postcards list. Let's put the email one at the front, the postcards one second, then you'll see those will update right here and back under our smart lists. Those will be in that order there, which is really cool. We can also copy this list. So what we can do is click copy smart list, then we can click save, and then it's going to duplicate that smart list right within this sub account. So now we've got two of those email lists just like that. Additionally, we can share this smart list. So we can click this and then share this with specific users. So let's say we want to share this with one of our other admins, then we can click share, and this will be created as a global list. Lastly, we can also edit the smart list name and delete the smart list on this screen as well. Now there's a ton more functionality within the smart lists themselves. We have the ability to mass send out emails, texts, add tags, add them to campaigns, workflows, things like that. So there's a lot more to go into, but I hope this video helped you get started with smart lists and understand the contact manager within high level. But if you have any questions, refer to the help doc. And as always, thank you so much for watching.